Today's video is sponsored by the Counter-Strike. Duplicate your second clip and bring it on top. Trim it down to just a couple of frames, right-click on it and select to change the clip speed. Activate the freeze frame box and hit the change button. With this freeze frame clip selected, open the color page. Go to the magic mask tab, make sure that you have the toggle mask overlay activated and place some random points into your object. You can also change the quality to better, guess why? Once you are satisfied with your mask, hit the track forward button. When the tracking is done, right click to the nodes window and select to add an alpha out point, connect the blue point of your node to this blue point and go back to the edit page. Right click to the masked clip and select to render it in place. Choose a video format that can include the alpha channel and save it. Right click to the mask again and select to change the clip speed, check the freeze frame box and hit the change button. Now you can adjust the size of your masked clip. Move it back and make sure that it is aligned with the end of the first clip. Open this masked clip in the fusion page and add a dent node. Keep the type to dent 1, play around with the size and the strength to find out what works best for you. Move the position to the top of your frame and make sure that the size is covering your entire mask. Right click to the strength slider and select to modify it with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, change the source to duration, set the curve to easing and the in and out to elastic. Check the invert box, set the scale value to minus 3. Play around with this value to find out what works best for you. You can go back to the edit page. And if your transition is too fast, just stretch your masked clip and reposition it to align with the end of the first clip. If you have money to burn, buy my pack and make me a millionaire.